I want to thank you for joining me once again out here in the old dusty workshop. I am very excited to bring you the next part of the Heron Marked Blade. I'm really excited about this sword. The Wheel of Time is one of my favorite series, so I cannot wait to have it finished. It's uh, one of those projects that's just really, really cool to be able to make. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to be heat treating. Uh, I'm going to be fitting up the guard and uh, kind of getting all of the handle components finished. And then I will be getting the blade ready for final finishing, ready for the etch in the blade. It's going to have a special etch on the blade, by the way, if I haven't told you in the previous versions that I'm also very excited about. And if you are new to the channel, it really helps me. Uh, kind of continue making all of these awesome projects and putting them on YouTube if you like and subscribe. It really helps if you share the video, uh, even if you just show a friend. It always helps. Always. That is one of the biggest ways that you can support the channel. So I'm going to thank you for watching. Uh, let's go ahead and get started. <laughs> Pretty well fit up there. Close enough that just a little bit of file work will get us right where we need to be. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, finish the fit up on the guard here. Um, I am going to do a little bit more grinding on the guard just to kind of get it to the final shape. Um, and then I will heat treat the guard and uh, then I will heat treat the blade. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, get everything prepped for that now. So I've got the sword in the oven. I have it set to 1600 degrees. I'm going to normalize it two times, and then I will do a little bit of thermal cycling. I'll bring it down, do one more, uh, I'll do one more cycle at 1550, and then one at 1500, and then I will bring it back up the final time. And it will be time to go into the quench, and then it'll be time to temper. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, just kind of wait here for this to come up to temperature, and uh, then it'll be time to take it out and hang it up.
I'm going to clean it up. Um, I'll use a 120 belt to clean up all of the scale, and then I'll jump up to a 180, and then I'm going to move over to Scotch Bright belts, get them both finished up all nice and uh, looking really good, and then I'm going to do a kind of a black oxide finish on these. I'm not doing a forge oxide finish. I'm going to do uh, pretty much an etch. This is going to darken the steel, and it should look really cool. So <laughs> So now I'm going to trace on the handle, and then I'm going to go over to the band saw, and we'll get these cut out. So this one is done. I cut it a little deeper because I'm going to kind of go over these edges make sure they're nice and flat. But now, I'm going to do this one. So now that the temper is done on this amazing sword, I am going to go ahead and get finished grinding on it, and uh, then at that point we'll get the handle fit, and uh, really it's just finished work from there, so I'm really excited to see uh, this all finished ground. I'm going to take it uh, from 60 grit all the way up to probably 400 grit because I have to hand sand it, and that will make this, uh, that'll make the hand sanding process much, much easier. So let's go ahead and uh, let's make a whole lot of sparks.
All right, so I have the pommel pressure fit on. And that handle looks and feels amazing. That ample space. And uh, the fuller is ready for hand sanding. I'll probably take the bevel up one more grit. It's at uh, 320 right now. I'll probably take it up to 400 or 600 just to make the hand sanding a little easier. The guard looks awesome. And uh, we'll get it all finished fit up here. And then really it's just time to hand sand the blade and get the handle wrapped. And then I have a couple of special etchings that I need to do on the blade. And so that is where I'm going to call this episode. Get the, the handle is completely fit and it feels absolutely incredible. So I want to thank you for watching this episode. It's been so amazing getting this handle all fit up. It really, really makes this sword feel wonderful. Uh, it definitely feels like a long sword, uh, but considering it's like, you know, a saber, yeah, yeah, it really goes well together. I'm really happy that I decided to uh, go with this exact design. It looks and feels amazing. So I have some really exciting stuff to do in the finishing stages of the sword. So I hope you'll join me for the next episode. I want to thank you for watching today. Um, if you haven't, it always helps if you like, subscribe, uh, even share this video with a friend. Uh, it really helps me to continue making all these awesome projects out here in the Old Dusty Workshop. So I want to thank you for that. You have a wonderful rest of your day. And I'll catch you on the next episode of Let's Make a Sword. And man, I just, I just want to slay some Trollocs. Really do, really do. Catch you next time.